question comes up all the time about credit reports and credit pulls. So I want to talk about this a little bit. We'll try to keep it short. Um, one of the questions is, are you doing a soft pull or a hard pull? It, the general rule of thumb, okay, and there's some exceptions to the rules, the general rule of thumb, anytime you're applying for some type of credit, it's a hard pull, okay? Um, soft pulls are generally your utility companies, uh, an insurance company, um, you know, you're getting, uh, you know, a Florida, maybe Florida Power and Light, the power company of where you're at, whatever state you're in, they'll pull your credit. That's generally a soft pull because you're not applying for credit. They just want to know if they need to get a security deposit to you from you because of your credit history, okay? Another thing for a soft pull is generally uh, when a lender does the hard pull when you do an application and then just before closing they'll do another repull to see if any new credit's been added to your credit that's a that'll be a soft pull okay so that's generally generally when you apply for a mortgage loan um, you have a right to shop out the lender that you want to work with for fees and stuff so it's 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 you're gonna see you may go to two three or four different lenders you're allowed at least three uh, hard pulls within about a 120-day period, okay, before it starts affecting your credit score, okay? And so you should be allowed three to four. Uh, the rule of thumb is three that hard pulls that you're allowed to do before it negatively impacts your credit score. Now, everybody says, well, I only search for a house. You're the first one to pull it. Yeah, but you went and bought a car, you bought some furniture, you did some things, so you had some hard pulls before, so now my pull is affecting your credit score, okay? So the hard pull, three hard pulls in about 120 days is, seems to be okay. You shouldn't have a problem with that. Hard pulls when you're applying for a car, okay? I always recommend people find a lender, maybe it's a, a, a specialty lender that finances just cars, or maybe you go to your bank or credit union, you wanna get pre-qualified for them to get your loan, get a letter from them saying you're qualified to buy a 10,000 or 20,000 or $30,000 car. You can get that loan for it with so much down. Um, that's better to go and purchase that car because one of the things you don't wanna get traps in, that car salesman wants to make sure he sells you that car. So when he takes that credit app, he, they, chances are they don't have financing. They're not the fi one doing the financing. They're going to shop it out. So he's going to take your credit application and he's going to fax it out to five, six different lenders. So you're going to have five, six credit pulls from that one dealership. Okay. Say you go to dealership A. Okay. They pull your credit five times because they send it out. You're not sure about that car. You want to shop out that car. You don't know that's happened. You go to the next dealership. They may hit four or six different credit apps. Then you go to a third and fourth dealerships, and I've seen these people where people do that and on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they hit four or five dealerships over the weekend. Next thing you know, they've had 30 credit pulls. Yeah, your credit score is probably going to drop five points per pull over that three or four. So your credit score just dropped 30, 40, 80 points. It's very common. So it's best to watch how you're doing it, and then you buy the car, then two months later you want to buy a house. So you come in to see me and you're thinking your credit score is maybe a 720, and I walk in and pull your credit and I tell you you get a 620. And you're saying, what happened? What, why my credit score so low? What did you do to me? You're blaming me and yelling at me. No, or, you know, so talk to your loan originator, know what's gonna happen first, watch what you do, watch your activities, okay? And know who's pulling your credit and what they're doing with it that has a major impact on you, okay? So that's generally the difference between a soft and a hard pull and the impact of pulling your credit. I hope that helps.